Gang, it's your boy Chris, face of Iron Gang, H2G Fit Coach, and today I want to talk to you guys about supplements and supplementation. Now, um, recently in the news, I know a lot of you guys probably aren't big fitness uh, followers or followers of the fitness industry, and that's okay. However, um, a couple of people have asked me about my opinion on supplements, um, what they do for you, uh, how they work how they can help aid in fat loss and weight loss and all this good jazz and everything. So <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to try to do a series of videos and I'll make this the first one of uh, talking about fitness products and supplements will be a part of that. Now, before I go into um, supplements, I want to give a quick disclaimer about my position on supplements and how I feel about them and what I think about them. Uh, personally, I do not have a problem with supplements. I think there are some good supplements out there. I think that you have things, and let's talk about the word supplement. Supplement pretty much is something that helps you get more of what you don't get enough of. So for example, uh, all the micronutrients that we get from our fruits and vegetables that we don't eat enough of, when you take a multivitamin, you're supplementing what you're not getting from the amount that you are taking in with with those vitamins so you know that's supplementation um some people might argue that protein shakes and powders are meal replacements whatever you know that's supplementation because everybody doesn't have time to eat uh regular amounts of protein or there are a lot of amounts of protein during the day so a quick fix is a protein shake which is a supplement um, those things, in my opinion, are fine. I, I, I don't think there's nothing wrong with them. I think they work. I think they do people good. I think they help with your, your immune system. They help with the vitality of the body, and they help your energy levels and all that good jazz. So um, pre-workout, that's another supplement that I support. Um, I know a lot of people are on the fence with it. You can get codependent on pre-workout, much like how a lot of people get uh, codependent on caffeine. Strictly because pre-workout is full of caffeine. I mean, there's other um, other supplements in it. There's other properties in it that give you added benefits of of working out, training, or whatever. But truthfully, personally, I support it. I like it. I use it because of the caffeine effect in it. It gives me energy to uh, go in the gym, especially when I don't have the energy to go. Um, I don't live a sedentary lifestyle. I'm in the Navy. I'm on the go all the time. And by the end of the day, to be honest with you, I'm very tired and ran down and I need that extra boost. So I do take pre-workout. Um, I, sometimes I, I cycle off the pre-workout and I supplement with coffee. See supplementation on supplementation, right? And, um, pretty much that's it. Other supplements that, um, I don't have a problem with that I'm kind of on the fence with that I've used um, are BCAAs. Those are pretty much amino acids that helps with um, um, protein synthesis. So your muscles need protein in order to grow, you know, so you tear your muscles in order to repair, then they take the protein, they take whatever it is from the protein. I'm not a scientific guy. I just understand the basics of it. And uh, pretty much the amount of protein that you eat per day, you're not getting enough uh, going into your muscles for repair. Or I won't say you're not getting enough. You're not using all the protein that you take in to uh, repair the muscle in your body. So what BCAAs do is they supplement for the loss of protein that you're not able to take in um, based on your daily intake of protein. So you're pretty much getting more protein synthesis out of BCAAs in order to produce uh, muscle growth. So that's my quick disclaimer on um, supplements. Those are the supplements that I, I have no problem with. Um, I have no problem with protein powders. I have no problem with uh, pre-workouts. I have no issues with BCAAs and I have no issues with vitamins and other vitamin-like properties. I'm talking about your vitamin D, C's, calcium, biotin, uh, all of that good stuff. I have no problem with those things. Um, so, before I go into uh, a little rant on supplements, real quick, for those of you who are not um, into the fitness, I haven't been keeping up with the fitness news in the fitness industry. 
there were a couple of uh, supplement companies um, who got raided. One by the FDA and uh, another by the DEA, of all people, uh, as a uh, matter of fact. Um, one company called Blackstone Labs. Um, they were known for producing a testosterone, TRT, testosterone replacement treatment uh, supplements, pretty much uh, anabolic steroids. Um, they were busted, I guess, years ago. Um, since then, they've cleaned up their act. Um, and they uh, have been flying the straight and narrow. Well, now recently, I guess there's a product that some companies are putting inside of their um, pre-workouts. I think called DMAA. I'm not really particular with the the exacts on that and what it is and how it works. But um, they were using it as an ingredient in their pre-workout. And I guess the FDA, federal government, whoever regulates these things said that that's a no-no and no companies are allowed to keep them in there uh, or to use them in their uh, ingredient base. So they got slapped on the wrist for that this week or last week. I can't remember. Stand by. Company, um, which saddens me to hear about because I, I really like these guys. I really uh, have bought into their message, their motto is uh iron addicts and now uh, when i say iron addicts those of you that are familiar with iron addicts the gym and ct fletcher and the entity of that whole core group um ct was not involved in uh the controversy that went down with iron addicts uh his name was pretty much used as a licensing base um to promote the gym down in miami Pretty much uh, one of the Iron Addicts associates that opened up an Iron Addicts gym, an extension of uh, Iron Addicts in Long Beach. I don't want to say it's in Long Beach. Um, down in Miami. And uh, C.T. Fletcher is not an owner. He's not a part owner. He's come out and did a, a video uh, talking about that. So he's not implicated even though his likeness is on the brand and... Um, it's pretty much a spinoff of Iron Addicts in LA. But anyway, uh, the gym was raided because one of the one of the actual owners of that gym uh, had been running a fifty million dollar, I believe, uh, steroid uh, operation. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess their offices were in the same building as the actual gym. Um, one of the part owners is an associate is an associate of Iron Addicts, um, the original Iron Addicts, uh, which created the original gym in uh, Los Angeles, Los Angeles County. I'll just say Los Angeles County because I, I want to say it's in Long Beach. I'm not quite sure. I think it's in Long Beach. I do plan to take a trip up there and bang it out in CT's gym. But anyway, um, this company pretty much were selling steroids under the guise of being certified by the FDA. Um, they had doctors on staff that provide prescriptions. And, they, and apparently, I haven't checked out the website. I read some of the articles on the Miami Herald um, that's up on um, online for you guys to view anyway. And um, pretty much that was all a lie. You know, there were no doctors on staff with this company. They were pretty much shipping it in from China. And then once they got the, well, they were shipping in the raw materials to make the steroids from China. Once they got them in from China, they sent them down to Arizona to be processed. Once they got processed in Arizona, then they would ship them out to different distribution sites to sell at, uh, I guess, retail stores and or online from their online base. And um, why do I say that? Why do I talk about these companies that's getting busted by the federal government? Um, these, I mean, yeah, it's extreme. These are companies who dabbled in steroids, companies who dabbled in anabolics, companies that dabbled in uh, testosterone replacement treatment. However, these are companies that were semi-legit. Um, they sold multiple different types of supplements. And um, you, you just got to be careful when you go out there uh, shopping for supplements, especially online. You're safe, I guess, if you go with companies that are sold in GNC because, you know, GNC is not going to associate themselves 
with something that is criminal or has a criminal reputation or has had a criminal reputation or at least uh, doesn't have a true um, regulated um, proprietary blend in their um, in their products. Uh, so I don't think you'll have any problem uh, dealing with a company like uh, any company that's that's uh, being being placed in GNC retail stores. Um, the other side of my opinion on supplements. Well, I just wanted to share that disclaimer with you guys. Share that little bit of news. Things like uh, I hear people talk about. Um, what are your thoughts on fat burners? What are your thoughts on thermogenics? What are your thoughts on carb blockers? What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on that? And um, there's just a few people that I know that asked me about it, um, who've seen my transformation, who, who follows me and follows some of the things that I post fitness related. You know, I don't post a lot of stuff. Stand by again, sorry. So my opinion on a lot of this stuff, um, I don't personally use uh, fat burners. I don't use carb blockers. I don't use thermogenics. The claim for fat burners and thermogenics is that it, um, it increases your core body temperature, therefore putting you in a thermogenic state to uh, burn more calories because uh, uh, calories are measured in energy and units of, of energy um, so the more energy that you expend um, which I, I guess is thermogenic is heat heat based I guess um, the hotter or the higher your internal body temperature is um, that means you're burning more calories now uh, you can debate this all day long you guys can go on Google and find articles that support um, fat burners you can find people that'll say that they're all gimmicks personally I don't think you'll find a difference from a good a good healthy balanced diet um, putting your body in a caloric deficit and getting some some good act, active training uh, via cardio and uh, resistance training um, I don't think you'll find a difference by comparison to just eating healthy training or just popping the fat burners and thermogenics in training. I think you'll lose the same amount of body fat. I think you'll lose the same amount of inches. Um, either way, in my opinion, I think it's a placebo. I think you get the placebo effect. Um, I'm not knocking anybody to sell them. Uh, you definitely do need to be careful with a lot of them that you get. If you look at the back of the nutrition fact labels, which I, I do a lot of times when I go to GNC or I go to Walmart or whatever, whoever sells them, hydroxy cut, whatever. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff on there I've never heard of. And then they'll have a whole bunch of stuff on there that you get in the, in the regular multivitamin. Vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D. This extract, that extract, you know, ginger root or uh, ginseng or whatever. And then they'll have a proprietary blend note on there or whatnot. And then if you really get froggy and you really, really look into it, it'll have a caffeine content in there. And that caffeine content, nine times out of ten, will be anywhere between 125 to 200 milligrams. And then you get the guy at GNC who's selling it, who will sell it with a pre-workout stack. And if your pre-workout is anywhere between 200, 300 calories, they'll tell you to eat it before a meal, before you work out. They'll tell you to stack it with your pre-workout. Now you're taking 300 milligrams of caffeine and stacking 125 milligrams on top of that for a total of 425 milligrams of caffeine. And if you're training in the afternoon or the evening time, I don't care how hard you train or if you're training for a couple of hours, 425 milligrams of caffeine. By the time you get home, you're going to be bouncing off the wall and you're, still, and you're not going to be able to sleep. So, break. What's up, guys? Again, I apologize for the, uh, the breaks in the video. Um, my phone has run out of storage data and I want to get this information out to you guys. So every time I stop, I'm going back constantly cleaning out my storage to make sure I make enough room so I can record everything to give you guys the best information. Um, so yeah, uh, last time I, I spoke, I was talking about pre-workouts mixed with thermogenics and fat burners and 
how they're sold to you, how they're marketed and pushed to you by the uh, people at GNC and other uh, vitamin and nutrition shops, and um, how you need to be careful, how you need to read the back of the label and understand what it is that you're getting. Um, as far as carb blockers and all this other good jazz, why would you want to block carbs? You need carbs for energy. You just got to be smart about how you're eating them and how much of them that you're taking in and what you're taking in. You don't want to take any carbs that don't offer any kind of nutritional value. What I mean is that don't give you any uh, micronutrients as well as the, um, the uh, caloric base for your energy level with the macronutrients. Um, so really what I'm saying is stay away from the cakes and the donuts and the ho-hos and Twinkies and all that. Pick up a sweet potato, pick up whole grain rice, pick up um, whole grain anything, um, oatmeal, things of that nature. Um, those carbs are okay. You get more nutritional value out of that. So, carb blockers, not a fan of. Fat burners, thermogenics, not a fan of. Only thing that works outside of the things that I talked about with protein, uh, pre-workout, intra-workout with BCAAs and vitamins are pretty much the stuff that is illegal on the market. And like I said, those things work, but they're illegal on the market. And I'm talking about anabolic steroids, TRTs, um, pro-hormones, things of that nature. They work. They will help you burn fat. Um, they will help you build muscle, but there there's risk involved not only because they're illegal, but they alter your hormonal balance. And anybody that knows anything about the body, um, your hormones are something that you definitely don't want to play with. So this has been a great video. I enjoyed talking to you guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, and until next time, Iron Gang for life. Iron Gang out. I'll see you guys in the gym. Good night.